payment safety online. How do we ensure that consumers and businesses feel confident that payments are safe when trading online? Over the six years from 2004 to 2010, the number of online shoppers in Europe has doubled from 20% to 40% of all European consumers. But 60% of European consumers don't shop online. And 35% of these refrain from shopping online because they are worried about payment safety. Stephanie Zak from the European Central Bank believes that building trust in payment safety is the major challenge when trying to increase cross-border online shopping. It's sometimes, as a customer, for instance, difficult to know how one of the procedures works. For a merchant, it might be difficult to select the right provider. And on a technical or legal basis, there might be problems so that one aspect or one solution might work in one country but might not work cross-border. German student Tim Gadash is a dedicated online shopper and he definitely knows the feeling of being less secure when using foreign online shops. I'm sometimes worried about shopping abroad when I shop online when the information required for the payment process is different to what I've used to in my own country because um, then I cannot really assess whether this um, data is really required for um, the payment system or whether it's data they just want to collect. To build confidence in payment security on a European level, you have to ensure that there is a sound legal framework where all the providers are supervised or overseen so that you can trust on them and where the industry has a possibility to work on the standardization so that you have a smooth experience when you shop online. Knowing that online shopping will probably become more and more important in the future, I hope that at some point online shopping, either abroad or in my own country, will be as safe and easy as shopping in the shop around the corner. How do we ensure that consumers and businesses feel confident that payments are safe when trading online?